Senegal under my magisterium will be a country of hope. A country to be weighed down with an independent judiciary and a strengthened democracy with an independent justice and a strengthened democracy such as my promise on the faith of the oath that I have just taken before God and before the nation in your presence. Lieutenant General Mamadi Dambouya, President of the Republic of Guinea, His Excellency José María Pereira Neves, President of the Republic of Cabo Verde. Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinobu, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Excellency Tiemoko Meliet Kone, Vice President of the Republic of Côte d'Ivoire. Excellency Colonel Malik Diaw, President of the National Transitional Council of the Republic of Mali. Your Excellency, Mr. Usman Buguma, President of the Legislative Assembly of the Transition of Burkina Faso. Your Excellency, Mr. Edouard Ngerente, Prime Minister of the Republic of Rwanda. Your Excellency, Mr. Aziz Akanouch, Prime Minister of Morocco. Dr. Omar al Touré, President of the ECOWAS Commission, the President of the Economic, Social and Environmental Council, the President of the High Constitutional Council, the Minister of State, the First President of the Supreme Court, At the beginning of my speech, I would like to greet you and thank you, Your Excellencies, Heads of State, for the friendship and honor you have bestowed upon us by resuming this investiture ceremony with your presence. On behalf of the Senegalese people and my behalf, I wish you a pleasant stay in Senegal, the country of the field. My greetings and thanks also go to all the friendly countries and partner institutions that have sent delegations, as well as to all our guests. Mr. President of the Constitutional Council, I would like to thank you and the members of the Council for your congratulations and kind words. I would like to emphasize and appreciate the important role played by your institution in ensuring the smooth running of the electoral process until its conclusion. On March 24, 2024, the Senegalese people voted in calm and serenity, making me the fifth president of the Republic of Senegal. Thus, in the first round, with 54.28% of the valid votes cast, I am aware of the weight of the responsibility and the seriousness of the burden. And may I be allowed to give thanks to God Almighty, the Master of Destinies, and to express my deep gratitude to my family for their unwavering support, and especially to the Senegalese people for the trust placed in me. This great people that we are, this great people that we are, at the cost of lives lost, irreversible wounds, confiscated freedoms, broken careers, has demonstrated on many occasions and at critical moments its attachment to peace and republican values.
As I turn to you today, I am reminded of the painful memory of the martyrs of Senegalese democracy, the amputees, the wounded, and the former prisoners. I will always keep in mind the heavy sacrifices I have made so that I will never disappoint you. Tribute must also be paid to our elders who fought for the advent of Senegalese democracy. They laid the solid foundations for an independent nation and the rule of law, which is shaken at times but still standing. We are indebted to them for the values of freedom, justice, and progress that they have given us as a legacy. That is why we must know the successes and exchanges of our predecessors and the human paths they have followed. Since we are the results of all their efforts. That is why Senegal won on 24th of March, 2024. I am aware that the results of the ballot box express a deep desire for systemic change. Through my election, the Senegalese people have embarked on the path of building a just Senegal, a prosperous Senegal in a progressive Africa. And in this work of building a new Senegal, I will work tirelessly to preserve peace and national cohesion. I will bear in mind that our most precious resource remains the stability of our country. I will mobilize Senegalese here and in the diaspora around a unifying national project oriented towards a future serene. Through the promotion of the spirit of work, ethics in management, discipline, and love of the homeland, I am committed to resolutely and sustainably putting Senegal on the path of economic and social progress. At the African level, the scale of the security challenges and the number of wars we have to face oblige us to show more solidarity. I can hear the voice of the unzipped elites who say loud and clear our common aspiration for greater sovereignty, development, and well-being. Alongside my African fathers, I reaffirm Senegal's commitment to strengthening its efforts to promote peace, security, stability, and African integration. In the land of friends and partners, I reiterate Senegal's commitment and openness to exchanges that respect our sovereignty and are in line with the aspirations of our people in a mutually beneficial partnership. Senegal under my magisterium will be a country of hope a country to be weighed down with an independent judiciary and a strengthened democracy with an independent justice and a strengthened democracy, such as my promise on the faith of the oath that I have just taken before God and before the nation in your presence. Mr. Head of State, Vice President, Head of State and Government, First Ladies, Ladies and Gentlemen, Heads of Delegations, Ladies and Gentlemen, 
Thank you for your kind attention.